Hello everyone, I'm U2 and welcome back to Blasphemous 2. We're gonna continue, we just beat this extremely difficult challenge, which now there's also another guy here, so... Okay, bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm seeing if I can like counter that, but I don't think so. Okay. Another one, yay! Lowers that platform. Raises it. Okay. Before I bail on this area, though, let's kill this guy. Something over here. Oh. Nope, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder, though. Oh, there's an area over there as well. Oh, yeah, let's get up there. Get me. Oh, well. chain there. Okay. I'll mark the chain, but I can't actually reach that spot, so... I don't even know how you get over there, to be honest. Can't drop... Oh, I can drop the floor here. But I still can't do anything with that chain anyway, so... Alright. Need the relic or whatever that does that crap. Down this ladder. Oh, we've been here before. Okay. So back up again. Oh, I'm actually really close to the teleport. I'm actually going to go ahead and head back because I'm going to turn in that file blast thing. So. I also got that new statue, I think. What was it? God, I don't remember what the hell. Was it the alchemist? 
Yeah, I think so, actually. He will fall during the first prayer of the morning. His eyes will turn white while the tongue blackens. He will then writhe in terrible pain for a few moments and then finally die before them all. As per your command, said the alchemist. He gave the abbot a small smoked glass file filled with scarce drops of thick purple liquid. Its surface shimmered, glowing oddly in the dim light of the few candles found in that somber chamber. Let's check out the uh, sculptor real quick to see if that new piece has any combinations. Oh, let me say this is a preset real quick. This. That. Put the alchemist. And then we'll just. Oh, it actually already had one. Is it the pilgrim? Blocking attack creates a whirlpool of miasma that damages nearby enemies. Okay, cool. Is there anything else, though? I said once before. Oh, this one has one. Create a barrier of thorns when struck, inflicting miasma damage. Okay. Hmm. So let's go ahead and apply that one. I'm actually going to go ahead and just uh, use that, I guess. Alchemist and oh, it's already set. So okay, cool. And let's uh, save that. All right. May the yeah yeah yeah. All right. All right, you want to see a girl get her skin ripped off? Let's see how far it gets this time. <laughs> Assuming that's what causes this. It might be the chalice instead of the flasks, but... Oh, oops. Ugh, <laughs> alright. Oh, she takes the crystal shards? Okay, I agree, yeah. With this crystal, I mark and imbue thy flasks with silver and bile. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so that improves the healing plan. Power. Only the miracle shall know how many crystals have been bathed in its grace. Kill him, but... Bring me chalices and vials. Okay, I want to see if it changes any... Before I start upgrading other things. I don't want to hand over everything and then skip, like, a step. I want to see it all, baby. No, okay. <laughs> Receptacle, there you go. Now I shall grant thee a new flask. Bring me more vials. Bring me chalice. Let's see if she does anything. It might just be it might be the chalices. I think this one I first saw is when I did that, so Oh no, nope. okay, it's getting worse. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> With this crystal, I mark. Only the mirror. All right, that's all we have for now. She is going to be a skeleton by the end of this. It seems like. Let's go check one more time. See if it's changed. I don't know if that actually changed. All right, I'll be back with more things, I guess. All right, so she brings... So I wonder, I still have some key items. Like, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I think I need to find one more of these, and I don't know what to do with this. I might need to look up some of these things, because otherwise I'll just be kind of floundering. Oh, I need to go to the guy and uh, absolve my sins again, because I've died too many damn times. So, do ye so be it. The sacrament has been completed. Now go in. 
Okay, let's see if it changed at all. I have to do at least uh, one or two more before it changes again. So, all right. Did all that nonsense. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, I found another sister as well. I wonder if it's enough to get into the next boon. Or whatever you want to call it. Tribute. Fine. Nope. Okay. All right. Any new uh, things to buy? I have tears, so might as well spend them. I can grab the rest of the. If I didn't already grab all the rest of the you altar pieces, oh, I did. Okay, so the only thing left is the bricks. Okay. So. Well, all right. I guess we're done here for now. Oh wait, I could probably do this now. Maybe. Let me try. No, oh, he doesn't grab it. I thought he does grab those. Hmm. I saw a carob over there, by the way. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna try this one more time. He does not grab it. I thought he did, but he doesn't. No. Nope. I don't know how to get up there, then. Uh, what else can we do before we go? Nothing. As far as I can tell. Oh, I actually have a quest marker now. Let's weigh this shit over here. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? It's, it's such a grabby guffin until it becomes, like, actually important. It's like, nah. I'm not grabbing shit for them. Sorry, I'm just looking at stuff. Uh... Alright, I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe in between episodes I'll look up where, what to do with the wax seed and the cloth. But maybe it's more fun not to look it up. I don't really know, so... Where was I? I was over here. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually proceed in this area. Oh, there's a there's one more room I can go into. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. Damn, I could have gotten this earlier. Okay. I can go to the other side now. Might be able to do some over there. I chose the bottom path of this area before. Now we're gonna go up Ha! 
É. See what's up here. Oh, God, effing blessed and bowels. All right. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. Uh, I guess we're done here. Actually, let me drop down to the very bottom over here because I wonder if that's something I can. Yeah, this, this room down below. Dexter, <laughs> you're a mean one. A chest, a dimension one. Okay. Check it out. So, what does that be? There it is. Grace is the duration of the blood pact. Okay. Back off! Away from me! Leave me! Can't you see the packets, the wretched grubs that gnaw my skin, craving my entrails and blood? Bring me the torch! Let them taste the fire! Screamed the madman. He bounced at the guard and took the torch that would moments later set his body in flames, turning him into a living pyre that howled down the hallways of that grim jail. Alright. <laughs> that seems to be it for that area. Any higher? this area to the left. I didn't actually explore this one. No. Okay. Hmm. Let's go up and around and see if I can't unlock that somehow. Oh god, so wait. It's a it's quite a track to get around that. Did I buy this guy's thing? I think it did, so. I honestly don't remember. But let's not deal with that right now. Let's actually get back and uh, go somewhere else. Because we actually have a direction now. First, let's... Oh, I didn't... Oh, I thought I had... The hell? I thought I weird. Oh, I must have dirt. My bad. Uh, whatever. Let's see if the uh, demented one has any combinations. Immediately, it does one right here. Uh, endless wrath. Killing an enemy during blood pact removes its duration. Well, I use that weapon more often. Uh, you. Oh. Okay, you. Oh. You. Oh. You. <laughs> oh, okay. And actually, I want to equip that one miasma thing I actually unequipped before. Is it? Yes. Preset, create new. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay. 
me there either. There you go. To the teleport. And we shall go to this top right area, I guess. There's got to be some way to get there from here. Okay, we're back. Crown of Towers. Actually, never went this way. Oh, I can see the thing in the background now. Ow. Excuse me. Do I have enough for anything? I have two. Do I want to save it for this? No, let's do this. This is the base damage. I definitely need more damage with this weapon, so. That's it for that room. Okay. Let's go down, actually. I already did this. Pretty sure I did. Ow, ow. <laughs> uh, maybe to the left. Maybe left and up. Ugh! Uh, actually, right there, I'll go there. Oh. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. Oh. Damn. Is there nothing of interest? To Extremely you? expensive. What a pity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll put a mark right here. I'll come back to buy that later. Um, it's 17,000. I guess we're entering the ghost tower now. Ah, there's paintings! 
They're alive. Man, that damage made a difference. Holy crap. Oh, that's cool. feeling that we're probably going to get the relic that does something with these chains in this place, because... Ah! Eh? God. <laughs> I just fucked that jump up. Oh, we're back out. Okay, well... Okay, I guys hope you enjoyed the ghost tower because it's over now. <laughs> Reminds me of a uh, Axiom Verge 2 a lot. <laughs> Getting powers from urns and stuff like that. Mercy of the wind. Pigeon one can now perform an aerial dash. Yep, and <laughs> R2 to jump for it falls, propel yourself forward. Use this ability to break through some previously impenetrable barriers. Wow! Alright, cool. Getting very Celeste up in this bitch. Oh, that though. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go up here. Water time. Okay. Oh wait, this led back. Ah, shit. Two I can do now. Excuse me. I'm coming back out to kill you, though. Do you have to time this? I mean, how does that work? Oh, you can get back up from there. Okay. Oof. Alright. Oh, it's an upgrade. Is that the third one for that one? Yeah, it sure is. So what kind of thing is that unlock for it? Free space damage of Rego Alba. 
And I can't see the rest of them. So. <laughs> Alright, so we have that dash now, which unlocks basically most of the rest of the game, except for the, the golden bubble thing. I honestly it shouldn't even backtrack until I can get that one. Back in the ghost tower now, because I can actually explore it. Now that I have the douche. The mid-air douche. Oh, and I just have enough to get that... that item now. That, that spell. Go grab it real quick. Ow. Excuse me, I would like to buy your beam of light, please, for seventeen fifty. Seventeen five hundred. All right. We have no more items, Ray. Chant that invokes a beam of celestial light to the location of the penitent one, punishing the radiance with merciless, merciless force. Because, I don't know. I'm busy. Can't be smothering everybody with my butt. This butt's got things to do. Like, sit in this chair for hours on it. <laughs> Oh, hello. God. Ah! Oh, crap. Let's go left. That was a good choice. It's a chest. Scratched face from the canvas. Significantly increases resistance to mystical damage. A piece of dried paint torn from one of the great guardian paintings. The cardinals are unceasing in their prayer, even though they lack faces, lips, and throats. Even though their flesh is oil paint. Okay, so let's actually equip that over this. What the hell is that thing? Yeah. Wow, that instantly kills those. That does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, is there another one or where'd he go? Oof. Oh, this is a boss, apparently. Okay. Well, I feel ready. Let's do it. This is like that one fight from Super Mario RPG. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that killed me. Fuck, I did not... I did not position that jump correctly. Okay, so falling in that boss fight instantly kills you. Don't know. I will be more careful this time. It's really hard to hit them with this sword. I'm probably gonna have to use the, uh... I know all my shit's based around using the sword, so... Oh my god, so much less damage. Oh, shit. I didn't realize what she was doing. I'm so lucky. Got her. Oof. Ah. <laughs> the last ascension. All right. Sweet. OK. 
key of endless or Okay, so I just had the key going back to that. Oof. That yeah, was fun. A little bit precarious, though. My god. The miracle was to create a new icon. An incarnate icon for all to revere. A symbol in which all our faiths, pleas, and hopes might be united in communion, so as to expand its diminished, almost extinct, might. Dove, who borrows thine color from the raven, is... Okay, so that before. Ooh. Oh, now I can go to that place on the bottom left. The, the sea of ink or whatever. Yeah, it clearly looks like water. It's doing that thing again where I can hear sound effects going in the background like constantly. Okay, so we're all the way back down here. Damn, do I need to go up and check out what's over this side? Start the the game just super quick. Just save it. So. so I'm hearing some sort of like consistent sound effect that's going on indefinitely. I can hear it. Yeah. Okay. It's gone now. Okay. Some sort of glitch with audio. Hey, Odas. I do for love. How are you doing, Ordos? Incredibly effective in this game. Oh, what's that thing here? I can't do. Why do you torture me like this game? Why do you always gotta do this? I'll be away from PC time to. Okay. I'm only streaming for about another two hours, so. Before I have to GTFO, but. Yeah. All right, so this 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 is pointless. I have to get out of here because there's nothing else I can do. Key plunder from the remains of Benedicta, the ghost of the Basilica. It opens the second of the cages, Chapel of the Five Doves. 
Under the light of the candle did the cardinal's corpses lay. Within sinister crystal caskets, they were the chosen by the endless orison, a congregation of sisters that devoted themselves to the honor of the deceased with their perpetual prayer. Each time a new body arrived, one of them volunteered as their warden, so dedicate their daily prayers to her soul until the end of her days. Then another sister will take her place, and so the rite will continue. One night, the coffin of the new cardinal arrived in the basilica, and the sisters surrounded to prepare their ritual. At that moment, the sister Benedict stepped forward, carrying a frayed scroll, and everyone immediately knew the parchment for what it was, the apocryphal prayer. Those ancient verses carried a terrible power. Whoever uttered its inked words would be present in eternal prayer, unable to stop until they died of starvation. Sister Benedicta kneeled and started her chant as the others fled the room in fear, closing the door upon leaving. They knew Benedicta had sealed her fate, but not the reasons behind the act of sacrifice. Even though centuries have already passed, some sisters swear that the white specter of Benedicta can still be seen during the darkest nights, praying at the Cardinal's sepulchre. Okay. Let's get out of here. I got several marks of martyrdom. I don't know if I have five. Do I need five or four? Okay, well, I have enough, probably. I'm gonna get upgrade my altar piece. I might as well max that out while I can, cause the altar piece on your back. Here I will wait. Cool, cool. Alright. Just gonna equip some new stuff here. Yeah, we'll just do this one first. Alright. Resets, crit new. Yes. Alright. May the hands of Anything new to say? No. May the hands. Alright, so we have to end that episode here. Alright. Well, I'll see you guys next time for more shenanigans. We're going to that Sea of Ink, I guess, so. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.